Do you know, that makes me so angry. What, darling? Well, I was standing at the bar waiting to be served, and there was a woman there taking her drinks away, and she spilt her G&T on my wrist. You see, my sleeve is quite wet. I mean, if I was any kind of man, I'd have glassed her. Oh, well, you should have done, darling. You should have cut her face. I know, but I get so embarrassed. So, we've got it. It's one God, you're the chosen people, you're living in this land that you've been promised. We don't know what to call that yet. Yeah, but I was thinking it shouldn't actually be that great. I mean, they really like it, but it should be a bit... Arid. arid. But they really love it. To them, it's like Hampshire. And they've got their rules, but they're not written in stone. No, they are written in stone. OK, they are written in stone, uh, and the Messiah might be coming, and God's like a kind of grumpy dad. It's no picnic, but everything's going to be just fine. Yeah. It's like the end of Logan's run, you know. It's not going to be easy, but at least we're doing it on our own terms now. And the Messiah definitely doesn't come. No, he doesn't. But we could do a spin-off. <sighs> Fuck that. Hi, everyone. Just being shown to my table. I know what you're thinking. Oh, dining on his own. What a tragic figure of a man. Hope he hasn't got some disease. <laughs> Don't worry, though. Quite all right. I'm fine. Very happy to be on my own. No problem. Can I get you something to drink, sir? I would like a drink. Uh, yes, well, I think I'd better. Let's get on with it. <laughs> Woo! Quite hot, actually. Anyone else hot? Quite hot. So, to drink, sir. I'll have a bottle of that, please, and, and one glass. Just the one glass. <clears throat> Needed. No, it was going to be uh, four of us, actually. Uh, that's me and three friends. Not four of me, obviously. Imagine. But uh, they had to, to cancel. Uh, so there it is. <coughs> so I might as well... Uh... So, here we are. Or rather, here I am. Singular. Tense. Not that I'm tense, but I am singular. I am on my own and everyone is looking. Ah! Thank God for the cavalry. <laughs> I wonder, could you please kill me? It's amazing. He's such a pro. He's due on stage in another 11 seconds, and there he is just talking on the phone. And he'll go on stage, and he'll click straight into it. It's seamless. He's absolutely brilliant. Well, she'll never change. Yeah. Listen, I've got to go. That's my cue. Ah, welcome to Shrewsbury, noble captain. From the banks of the Danube to the Seven Side, noble captain, you're welcome. Sorry, I'm, I'm a bit, um, I, I was on the, f sorry, can I, can I do that again? And do you know what it's like when you think about what you should have done afterwards? I mean, I'd pressed the button. It said, wait, the traffic lights were already changing. What was the earthly point in his pressing it again? But of course, I just pretended to ignore it when in fact it would have been no less than he deserved if I'd given him a Chelsea smile. You know, slashed his face up a bit. Well, it started about, uh, must be just under a week ago now. Um, I was sitting in here, I was watching the telly, and there was this knock at the door. So I answered it. And it was this bloke saying uh, he was making a documentary and could he interview me and it would be 75 quid for the morning. They gave you money? Well, they promised me money, but, I mean, I haven't seen any... Who's but... they, Terry? Well, you know, it's... It's you. Is it me, Terry? Yeah, it's you. It's... It's you lot. What happened next? Well, nothing for six days, and then this morning, the door went again, so I answered it, and it was just all these blokes with their lights and fluffy microphone things, and the same bloke, and you, and they, you, came in and set up all your gear and, well, you know, you know the rest. What's the rest? Well, you've been here ever since. And how does that make you feel? Well, I just feel... Would you like us to leave? Well, I suppose that... Do you want us to go? Is that what you want, Terry? Well, yeah. 
actually. Can you go? No. How long have we been here? I don't know. It's nine hours, isn't it, Terry? We've been here nine hours. How do you feel? What's wrong with your face? It's this powder. What powder? It's the powder you put on me because of the lights you said. It's a bit itchy. I've got very sensitive skin. Would you rather we took the powder off, Terry? Is that better? Well, marginally. Oh, well, I did enjoy that. Anyone else have the... Uh... No, you didn't have the noodles, did you? No. Very nice, it was lovely. It's just nice to have a bit of peace. It's been a bit hectic. Gives me the chance to get on with my book. Ah, uh, Mr. Harris, you're all the company I need. <clears throat> What's going to happen? Did he now? Was it? Right. Because uh, <clears throat> what's happening is... Uh... Two coffees, please. Yeah. Did you manage to get to Sophie's sleeping? Ring, ring. Is that my ring, phone? Ring, ring. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. No, no. Not me. Oh. Beep, beep. Oh, no, beep, beep. Oh. Uh, no. Oh. Maybe it's me. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's your altimeter. Okay, now look at it. What does it say? Right, that's good. Now, stay calm. Don't make any sudden moves. We're going to get through this, Jane. Now, to the left of your altimeter. He used to be a pilot. What a pro. He's on any second. He's still got time to talk her down. And mark my words, he won't miss a beat when he's out there. Okay, Jane, now that's my cue, so I've got to go. But just hold her steady, and I'll be back in a minute. Don't touch any buttons. Sir, it is your brother Cassius at the door who doth desire to see you. In truth, gentle. God, sorry. Just. Woman on the phone. In a plane. Can we do it again? What are you eating, Terry? Ravioli. Enjoying your ravioli, Terry? Well, yeah, only your thing is putting me off a bit. Do you mean the boom, Terry? Yeah, whatever. We want to hear you eat. It'll get cold, Terry. I thought you liked ravioli. And he said, oh, excuse me. And you know, I wish I'd had my bag with me. Because then I would have had my two Stanley knife blades taped around a two-bee coin. And I could have given him a jolly good slash on the inner thigh. It never heals, you see. The cuts are too close together. He'd have bled to death over about a month. But sod's law, I'd left it in the office. Clip, squelch, clip, squelch, clip, squelch, squelch. Somebody squelchy on one of my songs. Squelch.
Squelch, squelch, squelch. Squelch, 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 squelch. Squelch, 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 squelch. Squelch, 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 squelch. Squelch, 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 squel
Well, of course, Barbara's much better at coping with these situations than I am. Really, I should have made him swallow a razor blade attached to a piece of string and then given it a good yank. As it was, I carved my initials in his cheek and left it at that. I bloody hate Millwall supporters. Ding! Ding! Mind. Of course not. That's what the chapel's for. Prayer or thinking or, or just somewhere to be quiet. Would you rather be on your own? No, no, it's all right. Don't worry, I won't try and convert you. <laughs> Anything in particular troubling you? Well, it's just this girl um, in the third year. You probably know her. Let's not mention any names. Uh, yeah. Well, I just started to like her. I mean, really like her. Probably more than is good for me. Let's not mince words. It's Robert, isn't it? Yeah. You're in love with this girl, aren't you, Robert? It's not a pash or a crush. It isn't puppy love. It's the real thing. It'll never go away. That's right, yeah. But the problem is that... The problem is, Robert, that she doesn't seem to feel the same way about you. You're giving her the gift of your love, and you're getting nothing back. It's bitter, isn't it? Well, I... You walk past her room every day, slow your pace in the hopes you might be looking out of the window at that moment. A chance wave. Flowers every day, anonymous cards to hide your shame, inscribed with passages of Byron that you're passing off as your own. And what do you get? I, I haven't sent her any flowers. You learn her habits as if they were your own, until they become your own. It becomes a ritual, peering through the window of her car every day to check the extra miles on the clock, draw the radius on the map, long walks with binoculars, lunch at half past twelve, learn to be there first to catch that chance greeting. And if she speaks, what will you say? Nothing. Actually, we talk quite a bit. Oh yes, tell me. Mindless, inane babbling. Anything to keep talking. Anything to keep hearing her voice outside your head, as well as inside it. Anything to stave off the moment where you must trudge, weary and alone, back to your room and glumly toss yourself off over that picture of her that you stole that doesn't even do her justice. Uh, well, thanks for the chat. And there you lie, empty and panting with your trousers around your knees, with the hope that used to drive you corrupting your heart like some sick, toxic filth. And later... Her car gone, slouched over the bar, the shimmering optic seeming to conjure up her face, the barmaid pouting at you like some grotesque parody of a whore, until you forget, if only for a few hours. Well, I've really got to be going. She's a bitch! She's a bitch and I love it! I love that pain bitch, bitch, pain, love, bitch! Well, as I say, thanks for the chat. And at the end of the day, plenty more fish in the sea. Right. Cheers. Oh, God, I think we're at tinnitus or something. Burning flesh. Ah, Christ! Okay, so once more from the top of the scene. Uh, Guy. Yeah? You weren't sitting there before, were you? Yeah. No, you weren't. You were over there. <sighs> no, because if I was there, I'd be behind Fiona. Nobody would be able to see me. Oh, s sorry. No, you're quite right. Ba-dum, ba-dum, ba-dum.
Ba-dum, ba-dum, ba-dum. Heart attack. <laughs> Grumble, grumble, grumble. Earthquake! Grumble, grumble, grumble. Earthquake! Can you move your tripod, please? Because it's nearly time for Deep Space Nine. What do you like about Deep Space Nine? Well, it's... Um, I mean, why do you want to know that? I mean, it's just good. I mean, why are you here? Are you getting angry, Terry? Well, I mean, you know, you come in here, I wouldn't mind if I'd had my money, but... Do you feel better now, Terry? No, as long as you move your tripod. Isn't it time for your bath, Terry? Well, that wall won't piss itself. <sighs> OK, let's quickly rehearse the bow. So, Jack and Fiona, you come forward and bow and part and Guy, you come forward and bow, and no guy, not the hat! What, not even for the bow? Fuck off! <laughs>